Hey loves, welcome back to my channel. It's Jay Does It. If you're new here, welcome. Be sure to subscribe. And if you're returning, thank you so much for tuning in. In today's video, we're gonna lift this hair from black to red without bleach. Crazy, right? So if you would like to see how I achieve that, stay tuned. This hair is from Flowers Child Hair. So this hair is actually one bundle of 14, one bundle of 16, and then I also have a 16 inch closure. And the hair pattern is a natural wave. If you guys would like to purchase this hair, I have a discount code with them, which is JDoesIt25, and you'll receive 25% off of your purchase, which is like a really bomb deal. You know what I'm saying? Period. So to color this hair, I'm going to be using the L'Oreal High Color Color. And I purchased this from Sally's Beauty Supply. The colors that we're going to be using are magenta and intense red. Some of the things you'll be needing to color this hair is an applicator bottle, a mixing bowl, an applicator brush, and some developer. So now let's get the party started. So I'm going to be taking my 40 volume developer. I got this from Sally's. And the ratio for this hair color is a 2 to 1 ratio. So for each box of hair color, I'm going to mix two, two portions of the developer, if that makes sense. So the intense red did come with this red intensifier. And I'm also going to put this into the mixing bowl. And then we're going to mix that up until it has a smooth consistency. So I'm going to be starting off in the back of the wig. We're just going to apply a generous amount to each section of hair. And we're going to make sure to try to coat each piece of hair so we won't have any missing spots. I'm going to be working in small sections and combing through them to ensure that the product coats every piece of the hair. We don't want to have a patchy paint job. So after all of the hair has been colored, I went back through the hair in larger sections just to reapply the color, whatever I had left onto the hair, just to make sure everything is nicely saturated. Three hours later. Now that this part is done, I let the product sit on my hair for about four hours. Yes, I let it sit on there for four hours. It's not going to damage your extensions. I don't know about natural hair, but I always leave it on my extensions for a long time because sometimes it doesn't lift how I'd like it to lift. On the box, it does say to let the dye to penetrate the hair for 30 minutes, but 30 minutes is not enough for the extensions. Trust me, trust me, trust me. So I left my hair color on my hair for three hours and then I went to rinse it out and shampoo it. This is what she's looking like so far with. To bleach my knots, I use 40 volume developer again and my Clairol Collider Colors Bleach. So I let my hair air dry and I went ahead and bleached my knots. I do have a more detailed video on how I bleach my knots. I'll be sure to link it above. And after that, I conditioned it and let it air dry. And now I'm restyling it to prepare it to install. 
I will be sure to link everything I'm using below in the description bar. So this is her style. She's giving body. She's giving what needs to be gay, period. Okay. And this is how she looked. I have a more straighter style and I styled it a little more curly, but this is like the perfect fall color, especially if you're a woman of color. It makes a statement, but it's also subtle at the same time, which I love. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know what you guys think of the color below. Bye.